guys! Okay, so this week I'm doing the um, bookmark, bookmarks tag that uh, Liz tagged me in last week. So the first question is, what am I currently using as a bookmark? Well, this is currently my stack of reading stuff that all has bookmarks tucked into them. Feast of Crows. So in this one I'm actually using a real bookmark and it's my True Blood bookmark and on the back it says Real Blood is for Suckers. I'm reading this one which is sort of a book slash cookbook so it has recipes and stuff. I'm using instructions for um, an Apple iPod as my bookmark. So does that count as using another book as a bookmark? Because it has pages and a binding. It just has no cover. Then I have John Scalzi, Scal, Scalzi, Scalzi red shirts that is going to come on vacation with me tomorrow. Um, today, for those of you watching the video. And in this one, uh, because it's going on vacation with me and I don't want to lose anything that I typically use as bookmarks, I just have a, um, again, a folded up post-it note. The other book that I'm reading both on paper copy and on um, my iPad is Ready Player One. And in this one I'm actually using a concert ticket as my bookmark, my Joss Whedon Compendium. And it has... well that's what I did with it. It has an important notice in it. The best thing that I've ever used as a bookmark can't really think. Usually it's scraps of papers or photographs or whatever happens to be laying around that's part of the general rubble that is my life. The weirdest thing? Again, I don't know. Best thing? Weird thing? Weirdest thing? Just whatever is laying around, really. Do you ever annotate, highlight, write in books? Well, as you can see with this one, I've done some highlighting because it's a sort of like a textbook type read. So quite often there's stuff that I think is interesting and thought-provoking that I might want to go back and think about. Share something you found written in a library used book that you didn't belong to. Um, I buy all my books on Amazon, so for the most part the books that I'm buying are brand new. Books in my collection that are by someone called Mark. Um, I have this one, which is the Primal Blueprint by Mark Sisson. And again, it's all about paleo and what to eat and what not to eat. What book has made the biggest mark on my life would probably be a Roald Dahl book and it would probably be something like um, Danny the Champion of the World is a book that made a huge impact on me. Yeah, Roald Dahl was, he was, was like the first author that I read and devoured. Which book has made the biggest mark on your life? Literally, do you have any literary related tattoos? Well, I don't have any tattoos because that would require going near a needle and that's not happening. If not, and if I had to get one, what would I get? I wouldn't get a tattoo from a book, but what I would get would be, um, it would be a maple leaf and I would have it drawn so that it was like curling like it's on the, on the wind and then underneath I would use the, uh, the quote from Firefly and uh, technically Serenity, I'm a leaf on the wind, watch how I soar. So I would have the leaf on the wind and then I would have watch how I soar written underneath it. Which books have or had the biggest impact on my generation in my opinion? I'm of an older generation so Harry Potter was not part of my youth. So this is a hard question but being older and having friends that are moms and stuff like that I hate to say this because they're just terrible books, but probably Fifty Shades of Grey because it's mommy porn. It's not even good fan fiction. Ugh. Ugh. So there you have it. There's the bookmark bookmarks challenge. Talk to you guys next week. Hopefully I'll have a video up. I'm going on vacation, but it's more of a staycation, so hopefully I will be able to get something filmed and up for next week. And if not, look for something in two weeks. See you later, guys. Bye!